Good morning, everyone. Today is travel day. I am heading to Los Angeles for my Disneyland plus work trip. It is the crack of dawn, so I may not sound excited, but that's because I woke up so early in the morning to get ready. But here I am. I am all ready and all set. Let's head to the airport. made it to Disneyland Hotel. The ride from LAX was fairly smooth, no backups, no traffic, about 45, maybe 50 minutes to get from LAX to uh, here. Um, it's just past, 10 minutes past 10 and my room is ready. So the lady at the front desk kindly pointed me to the best restroom in the hotel where I could change. Um, and that's the plan. We're gonna change first and then drop off my bags um, at concierge for them to keep and then go out and do some exploring. So we will um, do that. I'll see you on the other side. Right, lunch is done so I am headed to downtown Disney right now I think I'm just gonna go window shopping maybe but also I do have a ticket for the park today so I don't know maybe I'll just pop into the parks while I'm still waiting for my room so yeah So for those of you who saw my pack with me video, you probably are all wondering, Marie, how the hell are you going to fit all of your husband's merchandise in your already full suitcase and personal item? The answer is, I'm not. I'm going to be buying all of them and sending it straight to him through FedEx or whatever the, um, the hotel mailing service is because no way in hell am I going to be fitting all that stuff in my suitcase that doesn't have any more space. So, secret, FedEx. have taken my well-deserved rest. I have had a quick shower, so I am ready to go for the second or third whatever part of this day. Now, I do not know what to do with myself. Um, I could try to get a walk up at Trader Sam's, which is a popular restaurant here. I could just head out and figure out from there. Maybe I can get a drink from Trader Sam's and then just figure it out. I don't know, we'll see. <laughs> So that was a really nice relaxing time by the pool even though it's just about an hour, an hour and a half. But um, I'm heading back to my hotel room. I got some dinner, <laughs> some Dole Whip, and I'm just gonna relax for the rest of the night because it's been a long day. I have yet to decide if I wanna do the extra magic hour tomorrow morning and that one starts at 7.30. So yeah, I think this is where I'm gonna end today. Thank you guys for coming along this journey with me my first day my travel day to Disney my first day here and I'll see you guys tomorrow morning bye
day three of Disney. Tomorrow I head into LA proper, so this is my last full day at Disney. It is early, bright and early, 7 a.m. And last night I was just exhausted after dinner. I honestly should not have gone in back into the parks for dinner. Because when I got back to the hotel, I just basically plopped on my bed and fell asleep after taking a super, super quick shower. So I'm looking forward to another full day. I will be spending most of it at Disney's California Adventure. And I'm hoping to do the same thing I did yesterday. Spend most of the morning at the parks, have lunch at the parks, and then spend the rest of the afternoon poolside at the hotel and then heading back into the parks in the evening. I do have some plans this evening. I have made some reservations, lamplight lounge for dinner, and then doing the World of Color dessert party. So it's gonna be fun. And I just know I'm gonna be extra exhausted. So yeah, so excited to bring you guys along with me. Let's go. checkout day for me here at the Disneyland Hotel. I honestly have had such a great time these past few days and I'm so grateful and thankful for my husband for setting this entire trip up for me and basically just made sure I had the time of my life without even stressing about reservations and tickets and accommodations and all of that. So I'm super happy um, that he was desperate enough to get his Star Wars merchandise, which is right behind me, um, that he paid a hell of a lot of money for me to get here and enjoy myself. So I actually had such a great time. Um, and it was actually fairly relaxing, to be honest, because, you know, I did have the opportunity to stay at the Disneyland Hotel, which was super close by uh, the park. So I had the option to go back to the hotel lounge by the pool if the parks was too much for me so which happened in the two full days that I was at the park so that was definitely a big perk of staying here so I am now uh, going to be checking out and then heading to Los Angeles proper for my last night here in the city and I will be taking you guys along with me I don't really have anything planned other than maybe going and doing a little bit a little bit of shopping um, but I am also I'm going to mail out all of that merchandise because I came in fairly late or at least later than I had hoped last night and I was just too tired to do it and I decided I wanted to sleep in today rather than do all of the mailing stuff. So good thing my hotel in LA does have a post office nearby so I'll be able to do that no problem. Now before I sign off I kind of wanted to talk to you guys about this question and it was a qu one question that I posed for myself before coming on this trip, coming on sort of like the Disneyland leg of my trip to the West Coast. And it, the question was, is Disney luxury? And of course, you know, this is generally a luxury channel. We talk about like luxury merchandise here, luxury goods, luxury handbags, accessories, all of those things. So I kind of wanted to see if I can answer that question while I'm staying here um, in what is basically an all expenses paid trip to Disneyland, right? And I think that is an incredibly multifaceted question because so many families, millions of people come to either Disneyland here in California, Disney World in Florida, or all the other Disney parks around the world every year. For many families, this is a huge part of their year. They allocate a huge amount of their budgeting to saving up to go to Disneyland. So you can basically find people from all walks of life going into these parks. With that said, Disneyland itself, just buying a ticket to go into the parks and spending your day at the parks, buying merchandise, even just a little bit of merchandise and eating a little bit of food is not cheap. It is fairly expensive. I haven't actually looked at how much I spent here because like I said, my husband paid for this. So I swiped his credit card instead of mine. So I wasn't tracking anything. 
and I haven't gone downstairs to look at my final bill for the hotel and I charged a lot of food and drink because I was at the pool for a huge chunk of time the past two days. Um, so I haven't really looked at the bill and I don't know how much that's going to be. But I'm fairly sure it's so much more than what the average family spends at the Disneyland parks. So while that doesn't really answer the original question of is Disneyland luxury, it does say something about how expensive Disneyland is. So that's one point I wanted to make. The second point I wanted to make is that going to Disneyland isn't actually relaxing. I realized that when I was, you know, lounging by the pool and talking to people who were by the pool, lounging beside me, and for a lot of people, it takes a lot of planning to pick the restaurants that they want to pick and make reservations, um, to make sure that they had like a schedule for the days that they were going to be here because for many people it is like a big part of their year so they try to make the most out of it they try to squeeze in as much as possible in the least number of days to save as much money as they can so it's not really a relaxing trip plus like all of the people in the parks themselves does not make for a relaxing trip to be like elbowing other folks to get from one place to another inside the parks and the temperature the climate, you know, depending on the time of year, especially here in California, where climate is fairly mild, it can be really hot. As an example of that would be the last few days that I've been here, where by the time it hits noon, I'm just like not able to function and need to go back to the hotel to rest because it's just so hot outside. So it's not a relaxing trip. It's not a time saving trip. It's not a lounge by the pool kind of trip. If Disney is a huge part of your year and you really want to fit as much as you can in this trip that you have saved up for, for, for some people, years, right? So that's number two. Number one, it's an expensive place to go. Number two, it's not a relaxing place to go. And honestly, number two hits really hard for me because I'm the type of person that if I want to spend so much money on a vacation, I want to have fun, yes, but I also want to be relaxed. I want to enjoy myself while also not being too stressed about being on vacation and trying to follow a schedule, trying to trying to fit everything in this short amount of time in order to save money. Which for me, for me personally, answers the ultimate question of is Disneyland luxury? And to me, the answer is yes. And why is that? One, not only is it incredibly expensive, Two, it gets more expensive the more relaxing you want it to be. And I'm gonna explain exactly what I mean by that. So my trip isn't exactly a perfect example for this because I came here alone. I did not have a family with me. My husband wasn't with me. We didn't have a child with us. So it's not really a perfect example, but there are bits and pieces of what I've experienced in the last few days that have supported the fact that yes, Disneyland is luxury. The first variable of my trip that was invaluable to my enjoyment and my relaxation of the experience was staying on site at the Disneyland Hotel. Now the Disneyland Hotel isn't the closest hotel to the parks, but it is close enough that I did not suffer super, super long walks to get back to my hotel to be able to relax. And that gave me the opportunity when the sun was so high up and it was so hot out to say, all right, that's enough for me for the next few hours. I'm going back to the hotel and enjoying my time and relaxing by the pool. Now, staying on site at the Disneyland Hotel or any of the Disney branded hotels like the new Pixar Palace or Pixar Place and the most expensive hotel and sort of like this group here for, for Disneyland Grand Californian is incredibly, incredibly expensive. It is so much more expensive than staying in a really good big brand hotel like a Hilton or a Marriott like there and there are so many within sort of like the vicinity of the Disneyland parks here in Anaheim. I would say it is even twice as much as staying at a really good Hilton, Marriott or uh, Intercontinental Hotel. But it gives you a lot of perks. Extra magic hour for me even though I was a very, very bad Disney park goer and not really researching like what was uh, open during the extra magic hour for Disney hotel guests, I thought that it was incredibly useful to just be there and enjoy the park and not 
be bombarded with the rest of the people who are waiting for the park to open. So that like made the start to my day relaxing, really fun to just be able to walk around the parks without a huge crowd. And it sort of like gave me that extra time in the morning to be able to enjoy and then justify going back to the to the hotel to lounge by the pool for a few hours while the sun is at its highest peak. But that also means that you don't get to cram as much of the activities and the rides and all of that from the parks into your day because you have that huge chunk of the afternoon that you're not in the parks and that you're enjoying the hotel. So for me, for my husband, and if we were to have a kid, that would mean that we would tack on more days to our trip to be able to enjoy the parks and tick off all of the things that we might want to tick off as a family. And more days at a Disneyland hotel, more days at the parks means ka-ching, ka-ching, more money to spend. That really racks up your bill for food, for merchandise, for lightning lane single passes and all these things. So it becomes, I would say, twice as much or three times as much than if, say, you wanted to stay at the Disneyland hotel and then spend as much time at the parks as possible. For me, and I know for my husband, especially if we were to have a kid, that wouldn't be possible. We would get so cranky and we wouldn't have a lot of fun because we'd just be stressing out trying to tick off all of the rides and all of the things that we want to do because, you know, we only have a limited number of days. I honestly would much prefer to spend the money to spend a much longer time in the park bubble in a Disneyland hotel than stress out and not enjoy this time with my family. So time and relaxation here at Disneyland is a luxury and an expensive luxury. And to add to that, me and my husband, especially if we were going with a kid, we would definitely want to stay closer to the parks. And that would mean staying at the Grand Californian, which is twice as much as a Disneyland hotel because I wouldn't want to be walking the extra seven minutes. You know, if you were to walk from from the parks to Grand California, that's about seven minutes and it's an, another seven minutes or so to get to the Disneyland hotel. Would I much rather pay a lot more money to save the extra seven minutes of walking? Yes, 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 I absolutely would. Why? Because you've got less cranky people, less cranky husband, less cranky child and much more time saved. At Disneyland, time is absolutely money because I also had to spend a lot more money to be able to buy certain lightning lane passes for certain rides. I think it was about $25, $30 for the, the two rides that I bought lightning passes for so that I wouldn't have to stand in line for 90 minutes and waste that time of my day. So yes, absolutely. If you want to save time at Disneyland, if you want to protect your time at Disneyland, and if you want to protect your sanity at Disneyland, then yes, it is a luxury. And that for me is really important. Protecting my time, saving time, and protecting my sanity. Because if I don't do all those things, I'm not going to enjoy my trip with my family. If we're just cranky and stressed and so focused on getting things done rather than actually enjoying our time together, relaxing, and just spending quality, quality time. So yes, Disneyland is luxury. For me, with my requirements of a vacation, it is an absolute luxury for me. For many people, it might not be because they want to experience Disneyland a different way than I do. But for me, for a person who values time, values keeping her sanity, values not being stressed on a vacation, values quality time with family, then yes, it is an absolute luxury. If that is sort of like the kind of person that you are too, then yes, it is going to be a luxury for you. But like many luxury things that we purchase, that we spend time researching on, that we spend time admiring, it is worth it for us, for our personal life, for our situation. So yes, honestly, I don't think I would be able to enjoy Disneyland any other way than how I've enjoyed it in the last few weeks, which is why I'm super grateful for my husband for giving me this gift. But it was also a good thing for me to experience this because now for the future, I know exactly how my husband and I are going to plan 
a future Disney trip with our hypothetical child once, you know, the time comes along. And I know even if we will be spending a ton of money on protecting our time, protecting our sanity and protecting our quality time, I know it's going to be worth it because I know that we're not just going to have an insane amount of fun, but we're going to also be cherishing the time that we've had with each other and sort of like the magic of being in this Disney bubble. So thank you so much guys for coming along with me on this incredible, really fun trip. I can't wait to bring you all to LA in the next few hours. So stick around for that and I'll see you guys in LA. Bye.